discuss any problem. I try not to discuss any problems and I will not, I'll try not to do any solution. Sort of from poor my colleagues. And also we are uh, maybe uh, after in the breakout sections it will, it will be more, much more interactive. So this is what we are now in the center, that's what we are at the power of the We have 16 faculty plus one is our director. Uh, 267 students. Uh, it's all faculty. From the one part faculty, you've been teaching labs. There's a 20 research projects, so at least one project per faculty, and the amount is more than 30 dollars. So we have significant funding to a lot of emphasis on research, so 17 journal papers this year, 42 conference papers, 3 patent applications and 6 new. Uh, we are offering a large number of internships, so we would like to interact with the engineering collaborators uh, in and around and throughout the media. In and around and throughout and throughout the media. And one of the significant achievements, and because of that, I am proud of my colleagues and also of the passing out by. We have almost 21 faculty with a curriculum. But I will tell you the statistics that in the five years we have, we have uh, since the inception, we have changed our curriculum four times. We started with IIT Madras curriculum, and Professor David was actually, uh, I, uh, we have two very great uh, minds and uh, very good teachers. Uh, inspiring the Department of Electrical Engineering, both of them are sitting, sitting there. And they, uh, the order was also in the same, uh, the director and Professor David Pulitzer. Pul and they have inspired uh, us to think that the, what we are doing actually should be, uh, it's not curriculum change was done under our uh, first HOD, Dr. David Pulitzer. Then after that, we have changed three times, and that's where we are now. And that will be the last talk now. Areas of critical electrical engineering broadly broken upon, and these are the faculty, Kiran Kuti is not there, so communication is there, four of them. Director is there, Dr. Rajakshmi Vaisal, and Dr. Yasar Murthy was there at the back, and he is still there at the back. Dr. Sunya Jaya, Dr. Sumana, uh, these are the faces, so that it helps you interact. Yeah, he's there. Uh, Asudev and Dr. Uh, Siva Mandiri. What are the problem solutions? This is what we have done. We have gone through a top-top approach. We have uh, tried to have a continuous evaluation that would actually keep the students' tempo on. Uh, we have tried to put, put in industrial problems, current problems, so that it's exciting. The students feel a kick, and if they are, are able to solve one of the current problems, and it has really worked very well. Twenty to almost all the courses have in electrical engineering project component either research or not. So it's very really, really exciting and to uh, grab the student attention if we are moving from three credit to a smaller credit courses. The list of uh, ex innovation we are doing in research. Another important thing that I would like to highlight is see the, the, as, as the current curriculum stands, you see we are introducing electrical engineering right at the start. Okay? If you remember most of the electrical engineering curriculum in most of the almost all the engineering colors, first year, first semester we are all maths and So if you see we are introducing electrical engineering right at the start. For the last one. Uh, one exam, or uh, let's go to two examples so then we can immediately go for them. Uh, you see that it's uh, mud taken from here, you see, and it says two months before there was a board to fight, try to into the greatest equations ever. And, uh, as you know, these are the natural equations in the differential form. And it was quoted as the greatest equations ever. Okay? But that's the important part. And it's not just for any private college or any government colleges. 
It's a graded equation throughout the work. Maxwell's equation. Okay? So the equation for the entire electromagnetic theory is based on the equation. It is no more dreaded question. I hope you are Right? So, it's a very typical case for innovation. Uh, one professor, I mean, all the well recognized and highly decorated professor and very insightful. He said, if a maximum situation is the problem, let us uh, hit the hammer on that. Right? So, what he said was, Rather than trying to go through the normal road to introduce electrostatics, then electromagnetostatics, um, then so on and so forth, the idea was very simple. Yeah. Introduce Maxwell equation first. Every class, that is the first thing you put in, this is the Maxwell equation, and this is how you get electrostatics. This is how you get electrostatics. This is how you get radiation. Everything comes from the maximum equation. So, so I followed this example here and I thought it applies or the real results are very angry. See? Uh, almost 20 innovative ideas, one a class of 46 publications, one check. Just one class. And let, let us try on some other questions. I also teach a cognitive way of course. Yeah. So the class of eight students. Uh, I again in the top down approach, introduce the problems, uh, give one or two solutions and let it to them. Four journal papers in summary. Class of it. So every student has, has a solution. So with the next brief. So of course most of my colleagues have done that. And they will have that interaction. It is best that each one of them introduce how and what they are doing. So I hope we have a very interactive uh, discussion section, breakout section in the afternoon and tomorrow starts. So with that, I will close. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. I work for TCS.